Hi everybody, I'd like to introduce you to my latest toy, a birthday present from Nina. It's a standard manufacturing company sewing machine made in Cleveland, Ohio in the USA and it's actually a clone of a Singer 15K. A little bit different in places, for instance it's got a dog height adjuster here. It's got an adjuster on the bobbin winder so that the, the rubber tyre is fitting snugly against the wheel every time as opposed to having to get a screwdriver to adjust it. But apart from that, look at the beauty of it. It's done so little work and the decals are fantastic. As far as sewing goes, it's just about as good as any machine I've used and certainly as good as any Singer 15K. I'm going to put it through a bit of denim now and see what you think. I like to use multicoloured cotton. I've got yellow at the top and red underneath so that when I've finished I can open the article and have a look how the stitch is forming with the red and yellow equally spaced top and bottom. So here we go. I want to go into reverse but it's as good as anything can be. And back again forward. And I don't know whether you can see that, there's the stitch and, and the reverse stitching is just there. It's neat and tidy, they're a fairly small stitch but I can adjust them. And if you look in the middle, we've got a bit of red and yellow showing. Okay. Uh, I've used various sewing machines, the Singer 15K, the 201 and others including the vibrating shuttle models but I reckon this is as good as anything you're going to get and just look at the quality of the finish on it what I do actually I put a sheet of clear plastic over the bottom to preserve it but I'm not sure whether it will have any effect on the chemicals in the in the in the base in the in the Japan finish so I take it off fairly regularly to let the air get to it um, and that's really about all I've got to say actually I'll have one more so because I enjoy turning the handle and just watching it go it's a man thing. Just to show how it will cope with thick material, if I take the, the denim out now, Then if I double it up, that's, that's in two thicknesses at the moment. If I go again to four thicknesses, four layers, it should coat just as nicely. Let's start with the needle in the right place will help. Try again. And that's going through four layers of denim. And again you can see the, the red underneath and the yellow on top and a nice tight stitch. Okay everyone, that's about it. Thank you.